Hello, my name is Terence Parker of Terra Firma Landscape Architecture. Uh, my project is rooted in Portsmouth uh, and is about the nuts and bolts of placemaking. So Chris, uh, wherever you are, start the slides please. In 2008, the uh, budding property owner across the street from the music hall hired me to do the site analysis on Chestnut Street so we could alleviate some of the pedestrian safety concerns and some of the congestion from uh, delivery trucks and buses that line up on Porter Street. As everyone from Portsmouth knows, that the music hall is very difficult to see from anywhere in the cityscape. In fact, the best view is from the bottom of Chestnut. Looking up from Congress, you have an oblique at the marquee of the music hall. Other than that, it's a difficult building to, to find uh, just by walking around. Uh, Porter Street offers a slightly expanded view, as you can see here, but uh, Porter Street is primarily a service road. Uh, right behind the music hall, there's numerous restaurants, such as uh, Flat Red Pizza, but Porter Street has a lot of delivery trucks and school buses that I mentioned earlier. Uh, here's some images of school buses letting off the kids. So when the school buses park there, they clog up Porter Street, and when the delivery trucks uh, park, uh, park there, they also clog up Porter Street, which causes neighbors to complain from their upper windows of their apartments. One of the primary objectives of this uh, design process was to remove the telephone pole that would thereby free up buses to come up Chestnut and actually execute that turn around the corner, which they cannot do right now. Um, and when that pole is gone, the sky will cease to be bisected. Uh, another critical element of the, uh, the streetscape here is uh, alleviating a lot of the, the pedestrian issues with uh, the trip hazards that uh, occur right outside the entrance. You have different grades at the entrances themselves and then you have curbs that have different elevations that you have to deal with immediately when you step out. And if you survive those trip hazards then you have to deal with quirky cross pitches and other slopes on the brick sidewalk on the shady side of the street. And when the rain water in the winter comes down the roof leaders off the roof it dumps it on those uh, sidewalks, which promptly freezes, which uh, you can imagine is a difficult situation. There is a sunny side of the street, and McHenry Architecture did well to create elevated planter beds that serve at the perfect sitting height. Uh, another thing we're looking at uh, in the streetscape renovation is uh, uh, screening the view to the Rockingham parking that's evident in the slide at the bottom. Here's an image of a one of the early hand-drawn sketches that shows that we are creating an exterior lobby right outside the marquee. And uh, by doing that, we extend the theater experience. The street will have a radiating pattern going down through Congress. It'll have uh, sculptural walls uh, that you can see in this uh, perspective. Now, we feel that the sculptural walls will be the chief element to extend the theater experience because people can walk out there and have these really beautiful granite walls to sit on in an impromptu fashion uh, to you know, just communicate what they just experienced in the theater. Here's a, a, a re revised uh, drawing of that same space. You can see how the existing telephone pole is removed, which gives a much greater turning radius to that corner on the left hand of this image. And then the pattern radiates down to the right uh, to Congress Street, where there is a proposed archway which will be visible from Congress Street. Here's that radiating pattern that creates the fabric of the music hall that flows down Chestnut Street onto Congress Street, thereby making um, the, the presence of the music hall readily seen to passers-by on Congress Street. Uh, another key aspect of our work is to rip up the street and repair all the utilities on the ground, including getting all the roof leader water into a new storm or system. The sculptural sitting walls also act as a, a traffic calming device because it narrows the street right at the entrance of the music hall. And you can see that in this particular image in that the sculptural sitting walls will create an a expanded sight line to traffic coming around Porter Street and the green screen in the background will obscure the view of the parking lot at the Rockingham. 
In this image, uh, you can primarily see how we're, we're alleviating the grade issues by making all the grades in front of the music hall flush, so there's no more trip hazards, and then you have that radiating paving pattern that, be, that, that locates the center of the street and then moves down toward Congress. In this view, you can see the sculptural sitting walls that are across the street from the music hall, which is at our back here. Um, those sculptural sitting walls are surrounded by lush vegetation, which creates the atmosphere that can only encourage people to uh, extend the theater experience in an impromptu way. Uh, this is a different view of that same space rendered by Tangram 3DS. Please note that there's uh, quirky sculptural niches on the side of the McNabb building. We felt that we wanted to give the music hall an opportunity to have temporary sculpture that would reinforce it as the cultural hub of Portsmouth. Here is the uh, gateway arch that we're proposing at the bottom of uh, Congress Street in Chestnut. We use some of the quintessential elements of Portsmouth, brick, granite, wrought iron, and in a form that is reminiscent of uh, 1700s uh, furniture that was found readily in the Portsmouth historic homes. On that arch is the acanthus leaf which has been used in architecture since 500 BC. It's also used uh, in, very strongly in the pilasters that are on either side of the stage in the music hall itself. So we thought that was the perfect element to bring out into the exterior to unite the interior in the exterior of the music hall. So here's that paving pattern as it flows down Chestnut, comes across Congress, and makes the, the pedestrian zone very evident because it's a broad palette of brand new paving. And there is the archway uh, that would define the neighborhood of the music hall and provide the visible key to anybody passing by Congress Street uh, looking for the music hall. Thank you very much.